from Pauli Gasper according to Luke. Glory be to you, all our heart. Glory be to you. Let us be attentive. At the time Jesus was teaching in one of the synagogues, on the Sabbath, and behold, there was a woman for who, for eighteen years, had had a sickness caused by spirit, and she was bent over and entirely unable to look up. When Jesus saw her, he called her to him and said to her, Woman, you are delivered from your infirmity. And he laid his hand upon her, and instantly she was made straight and glorified God. But the ruler of the synagogues, indignant that Jesus was curing, on the Sabbath, address the crowd, saying, There are six days in which one ought to war. On this, therefore, come and be cured, and not on the Sabbath. But the Lord answered him and said, Hypocrites, does not each one of you on the Sabbath let go who? his ox and ass from the manger and lead it out to water. And this woman, daughter of Abraham, as she is whom Satan has bound, lo, for eighteen years old not, she took be released from this bound on the Sabbath. And as he says it in all his adversaries were put to shame, and the entire crown rejoiced at all the glorious sins that were done by him. Glory to Jesus Christ. Glory be forever. There was a woman who for 18 years had had a sickness. Many of us read gospel and we know how many good things Jesus has done. Because Jesus loves us, and we always need this help for him. And when Jesus loves us, he always would like to do something good for us. Everything is possible for him, but depends of us, or we open for him, or we don't open for him. But today, this situation is gospel, is very special, because that woman waited for a very long time. 18 years is so long. Everybody myself and you, we have had this experience when we had some illness, some problem with our health. It's so difficult for us to wait. You always took some medicine, 
we always looking for some help for doctor or somebody else and we would like to change our situation. We would like to be a healthy person. Because when we, we, when we are not healthy, it's so difficult for us to do something. So difficult for us to have some responsibility. And we would like to change the situation. For us, it's difficult to wait because we have experience for life which we had before. When we feel better, when we feel good, we can do everything. But when we are sick, it's not easy for us to accept the situation. We always like to change the situation in short time, very quickly. But when we see today this gospel, it's something unusual. This woman, she was sick not only a few days, weeks or months or years. She was sick for 18 years. It's a long time. Long time for her wait for healing. Long time. When we see our life, we see how when we don't have this patient. Really, we have patient in our life. We have patient in ourselves. But so often, we don't use this patient. But in this situation, we see how that woman uses the situation. Why? Because I think she believed to God. She understood God knows about her situation. It's very important to understand for all of us, especially when we have a difficult situation. When we, it's impossible for us to change something, change situation, change ourselves so quickly. It's very important for us to understand God knows about this situation. God knows about this situation and God knows about me. God sure, God believed to me. We so often speak about, I believe to God, or I don't believe to, to Him. I trust to Him, or I don't trust to Him. But the most important, especially in this difficult situation, remember God believes to me. He's sure about me. He knows me much better than I know myself. In English language, we so often say it's impossible to do something overnight. Really, it's impossible to do. When you would like to have something good, or when you would like to have a good goal, reach something important for me, I must to have patience. Especially patience for myself, but I have told patient for people which are around me and patient for God. But I have told before because God knows about my situation. We so often think when I have something, when I reach something, when I have this or that in my life, it will be very good for me, for my life. But so often when we have something, we understand, yes, I have this. It's good for me, why not? But I, before, I think it will be much better for me. For this situation, it's very important not only thinking about something, 
dream about something, change something, but very important live in this moment at my life which I have. Because it's my unique moment. I have I can say it's good for me or bad. It's okay, it's my decision. But it's my life. I have the situation. When I say it's a good situation, it's okay. When I say it's a bad situation, it's okay too. It's my life which I must to accept. And when I accept this difficult situation in my life, I will be happy, you know? Why? Because I understand God stay behind everything. Nothing happened by chance. God gives for me everything what is the best for me. Maybe it's so difficult for me to understand. Maybe it's impossible to understand for my mind because my brain is so small. But I must trust this situation gives God for me. In Ukraine language we say, Bog visoko bachit daleko. Yes, God knows much better what is the best for me. You see how many times during our life we think something good for me, but later I understand it's not really good for me. Or the same, sometimes I hate some person. I don't like some, I didn't like this, that situation. But later I understand that person is this, that situation is the best for me. Patient, it's very important. For me, I do think it's very important for Christianity, for our Christian. It's our prayer in patience. When we pray and have patience, God will do everything in our life. We see a good example today is in this gospel. What I have told you, we have patience, but we don't use this patience. We can pray, but we don't pray to God. And when we will pray and have patience, God can do many good things in my life. Amen.